Andy Davidson on liveweatherblogs.com, student meteorologist. A lot of interesting weather happened today. We had tornadoes in Ohio. We had possible tornadoes near New York. We had a lot of wind damage up in uh, northern New Jersey and also parts of South Jersey. Uh, we had tornado warnings in Monmouth County, as Mike Masco ran into earlier. We had also tornado warnings in the Bronx. So we've had a busy day. We have confirmed tornadoes, or, or at least one, and a couple of knowledge confirmed tornadoes, one in West Virginia earlier today. So it's been a pretty busy day in the severe weather realms around here. And we'll get into that. This is just an overview of the map of Storm Prediction Center reports that we have as of right now. Here's a look at your Friday severe weather map. We have near Omaha, Nebraska, southeast Nebraska, north, far northern Kansas, the best chance of severe weather. Hail, high winds, isolated tornadoes, not to be ruled out here in this area. Davidson risk factor, 80 on the wind, 80, uh, 55 on the hail, and about 25 on tornadoes. A few of them, we can at least probably see one to three tornadoes in the area. Look at the tropics. This is the, storm, uh, this is the National Hurricane Center track. It says it's still going to be really close to Bermuda. Bermuda's going to take a wild hit, no matter what way you look at it, from a hurricane uh, over the weekend here. And we're also going to look at that happening, staying a major hurricane and possibly dropping down just under a major hurricane by that time. Um, we also have Julia, which is turning out to see. We're not going to really go into her. And we're going to also now talk about Carl. Hurricane Carl, he will make landfall. Um, afternoon on Friday along the Mexican coast. Um, probably a Cat 1, Cat 2 hurricane and uh, drop a lot of rain in Mexico mountains. That's going to be the major issue that it brings, other than coastal issues that it brings, some of the rainfall that it dumps inside of Mexico. Flooding usually goes rampant in Mexico when you get these storms. Let's take a look at satellites. Here's Carl. He's looking pretty good. He's a very small storm compared to Igor. Look at the monster he is. You can see he got in some dry air though, kind of in coming into the top of the of the circulation, which is probably why it's weakened to where it is 125 miles an hour right now, from where it was at 140 earlier. Some dry air intrusion here, but it'll move up. Still remain about category three status before turning into Bermuda. Bermuda might take a uh, a direct hit on this one. I know it's a very small target, but all the computer models are in agreement that it's going to be right around Bermuda, if not on top of it. So expect at least uh, winds of 80 to 100 miles an hour, 200 miles an hour in the country of Bermuda. And with the other system, it's dying slowly. It'll become a tropical storm and then turn out to sea, as Igor will. It will be the main pushing factor here. Okay, we're gonna take a look now at model data for Igor. Here's your Igor model data. You'll see where the models are pretty much bunched together minus the no gaps and NGFDL model which have been a little off and, and the ingestion of the data from the hurricane center is, is what's going to make the other models uh, verify out I believe. So Bermuda you're in the crosshairs so here so I'm getting your hurricane preparedness actions ready. Now we're going to the road and forecast. 65 overnight chance of showers clearing out. 84 Friday, 84 Saturday, 88 Sunday, and 86 Monday. Beautiful sunny skies. Lows in the mid 50s to lower 60s. And for the triad, chance of thunderstorms Friday afternoon, 90 degrees. 86 Saturday, 80, 91 Sunday, 89 Monday, with lows around 60. So their area can be nice. We'll, now it takes a look at some damage information from the New York City office and the Philadelphia office on the severe weather event from today. Here's the Mount Holly regional uh, report. We got lightning, lightning strike, we got a 59 mile an hour wind gust here, 73 in Perth Amboy. Broken windows reported in Perth Amboy. Funnel cloud, mow bridge. Large uh, trees and uh, limbs down. Trees down. 55 mile an hour wind gust at Mount Holly uh, Regional. 9 to 10 houses damaged in Plumstead. I think this needs to be, might need to be investigated. That's a def definitely interesting uh, read there in Plumstead Township. And that's not far outside of Burlington County, to be truthful with you. 
61 mile an hour report at Lake Hurst. I would uh, I I would be wouldn't be surprised to do a uh, <laughs> a investigation into the Plumstead Township event whether it possibly could have been tornadic based that they had a warning out earlier so we're going to take, I'm sure the weather starts to take a look at that and now we'll go to the New York City office here's the LSR out of the New York office you see wind damage wind damage a lot of these wind damage 51 miles an hour Staten Island they Funnel cloud in, in Staten Island by a train spotter. They are going to investigate it. Uh, I read that also. They're going to investigate the possibility of a tornado in Brooklyn, Staten Island area. So we'll wait to hear on that one. What will happen? And we'll definitely update you here on livewatherblogs.com. As soon as we know, fatal. Um, we got a fatal tree falling on a, on a car. So that's not good. I mean, it's, that always stinks when you hear about that. And it's fatalities due to, you know, being inside of a car in a thunderstorm that a, that a tree falls on you, but it, it always stinks in any way that you can, you can die in these storms, and we do the best we can as weather people to warn you, and that's what our job is. Well, other than that, this is Davis from LiveWeatherBlogs.com. I will have information if any gets put out by any possible tornadoes that may have occurred. Also, LiveWeatherBlogs.com, overnight edition, again tomorrow evening. Davis from LiveWeatherBlogs.com.